<clears throat> it's time for the latest in Glen Campbell's series on alternative mini breaks. Today he's uh, sort of going for gold. Here's Weekenders. <laughs> This is a very special weekend. I'm in Devon on a treasure hunt and I've just found my first clue. It says go to the Mulberry Antique Shop in Topsham and find a croquet set. What makes this weekend so special is that you get to travel around in these beautiful old vintage cars. OK, everybody, I've got the first clue. We're going to Topsham. We were so eager to find the next clue that we got off to a bad start and sadly the chauffeurs are not allowed to help with directions. Well, we've managed to find the Mulberry Antique Shop. Will we be able to find the next clue? There's no time for shopping, by the way. And don't break anything either. All right, OK. That's gorgeous. It's a blanket box. Isn't it? Yeah. What do you think this is? It's a blanket box, isn't it? No, it's a croquet box, silly. What is it? <laughs> well, shall we have a look inside it? Yeah. Wow, wait a minute, what's this? Go to the home of the Earl of Devon and spend the remains of the day there. Home of the Earl of Devon. These cars are just so elegant, it's tempting to tell the driver to forget the treasure hunt and just drive. But I'm going to stay with the rest of the party. We're all going on to Powderham Castle. Lunch in the grounds, I think, James. Now they really knew how to live in the 1920s. On Saturday, there's a gourmet picnic. On Sunday, there's Devon cream tea. And there's champagne with everything. You never stop being spoiled on weekends like this. You don't have to dress up, but the experience feels so much more real if you do. So what about your costume then? Do you like dressing up? Well, actually, I, I thought originally I'd feel a bit of a, a twit, but uh, in fact it feels quite natural. It's, it's, it's really great fun, yeah. So Hannah, what about your costume? This is very fancy, isn't it? It is very fancy, and it keeps fancy. falling, yeah. <laughs> falling yeah. about. No, it's, it makes you feel part of it, especially when you're in the car. It's great. These yeah. two in the open car look quite fabulous. They really do. They fit the build beautifully. Yeah, it's, it's great being in, the, being in the car. Now, this is your first time. Would you come back again? Oh, definitely. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, I'd come along. If nothing else, just to sit in the car. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> or to be whooped at croquet again. Oh, yeah, not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it here then, didn't we? Oh, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> yeah. It's really difficult when you're getting uh, these clues and trying to find where you're going. It's not often I get lost, but we had a bit of a bit of a funny turn on the way here. I was quite sure we had to go right. <laughs> and Nobody was else was left. <laughs> yes. Too many backseat drivers. You know, four, four backseat drivers. Yeah. In the, car, you know? <laughs> the thing is, we can't just sit and eat this beautiful lunch. We've got to find this next clue. Right. Maybe <laughs> thunder something. Maybe some champagne, sir. Oh yes, please. Can never resist. Now you don't know where the next clue would be, have you? May I suggest asking the tortoise, sir? Is that Timothy? It's quite correct, sir. Well, I think we'd better all go find Timothy then, don't you? Come on, <laughs> bring your drinks, though. <laughs> I found the next clue. Oh, where did he go? Up. Where did he go? Out? Somewhere nice. Find an eccentric Gothic country house north of here, and the night will be jazzed up. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Hey, come on, I know where it is. You 
can come alone on weekends like this, but it's much more fun if you bring a party of friends. to return to the 1990s, back to rush hour and traffic jams. At the end of this weekend, I'll be sad to hand back my costume. I've really grown quite attached to it. And I've loved the elegance and pace of this vintage car weekend. This vintage car treasure hunt costs from £265, including farmhouse accommodation, champagne reception and the gourmet picnic. Full details of this and similar weekends can be found in the fact sheet.